Hey guys, real quick, this project became a lot bigger than I intended it to be. With everything going on from COVID-19 to the murders of Aubrey and Floyd, I found myself really hurt, frustrated, and confused. Doing this project and seeing the generosity in my local community gave me a new sense of hope that I didn't think I needed. I pray that you guys enjoy this video just as much as I did making it and see for yourself that there's still some hope out there in the world, even with everything going on. Anyway, enjoy the video. Thank you NZXT, Corsair, and Micro Center for sponsoring this video. It wouldn't have been possible without you guys, and I really appreciate it. Computers age until they cannot meet our demands anymore. Usually when that happens, we throw it out and we buy a new one. But often, that computer can meet the demands for someone else. It just needs some TLC and it's ready for a new home. So that's exactly what I did times seven. God has placed two things on my heart the last year and a half, people and sustainability. E-waste is the fastest growing municipal waste stream according to the EPA, and only 12.5% of all e-waste is actually recycled. A lot of that tech is modern and perfectly functional, yet we have thousands of people who don't have working computers. There's kind of a problem there. Combined with the COVID-19 crisis, reliable computers are more important than ever. So this is what I came up with. I built seven computers, gaming computers, for the price of one. So I've actually wanted to do this for a very long time, but I just never found the perfect time to execute. Well, all of that changed when I got this message from a longtime fan, friend, and supporter, Gerard. Gerard watched one of my videos where I jokingly said that I needed a webcam to start um, my streaming career. I don't know, I would say I really wanna get into streaming, so I would say maybe like a webcam and another monitor. Nothing like too crazy. He ended up messaging me and said that he would sell me a Logitech C922 Pro, an $80 webcam, for literally $1.50. Completely mental. He got it for free and wanted to help me out, and since he was local, there was no shipping involved. I was hesitant, but he mentioned that he does this all the time. He buys old computers, he builds them up, and then he just gives out the components to people who need them. I just happen to be one of those people. I eventually agree. He also says he has five to six computer monitors and keyboards and cables that he doesn't need because he's cleaning house. Anyway, I make my way over to his place and I start the e-waste project. Oh my gosh, Gerard, your setup is awesome. Wait, so what are you running right now? Just 8350. Okay, still on FX. And then what's the video card? Uh, 750 Ti. Okay. What would like your ideal like computer be? Like with everything in it? Like what would the specs be? I know you have your 1070, would you Oh, have... oh, the next one? Yeah. Going really overboard for what I use it for. Yeah, so what do you normally 3, use it for? 3900X with the 1070 okay. and at least 16 gigs to start. NVMe. Yeah. 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 I'm 68 years old. It'll probably be my last one. Yeah. I'll be drooling in it before I need another one. <laughs> Because of my very poor time management skills, I split my search for computer components into two parts, before quarantine and during quarantine. But first, I started with what I already had. I'm a hoarder, so there are a lot of computer components and parts that I just didn't need and I could use towards this project. It consisted of the stuff that Gerard gave me. So Gerard donated a lot. Some of the stuff he donated, like I've already mentioned, a ton of monitors. He also donated some keyboards. They're membrane and they're basically what you would see in an office desktop cubicle type setup. But for completely free, a donated item 
it's gonna be perfectly fine. Gerard also gave a ton of different cables, which are across my bed. We're basically set when it comes to peripherals, minus the monitor adapters. A power supply, some RAM, and some leftover video cards. I have a XFX Pro 550 watt power supply from my Lenovo $80 gaming computer that I uploaded about a month ago. Eight gigs total, a four by two gigabyte combination that's gonna be perfect for upgrading this system memory in some of these computers. I've been hoarding GPUs for a while now, but these are the ones that I think would work well with the rest of this computer. The RX 560, which I got for the Lenovo PC, it's only 30 bucks. We have a pretty beefy GTX 770 that's functioning, got it for 40 bucks. We have an RX 460 that I had in my main computer for a while, it's basically zero bucks. I'm not really using it anymore, so may as well donate it. We have the GT 1030, two gig GDDR5 model. And the last video card I have is the GTX 650 Ti, two gig, that I bought for 40 bucks in 2019. May as well just throw it into one of these computers and have a semi-decent gaming computer. So what do I need? Literally everything else. I considered buying each of the seven components separately and then building seven computers that way. But after looking at eBay and local classifieds, it'll cost way too much money and it will also won't be that good for performance. So I use the age old algorithm of picking up pre-builds and upgrading what I can. And if I pick up a modern pre-built computer, I'd probably only need to upgrade the video card and the power supply. This is what I'd need to build seven gaming computers. Seven power supplies, three video cards since I have quite a few left over. For storage, I wanted 250 gigs minimum in good condition. Chances are the pre-built machines won't have any storage, so I'd have to buy some. And since this is coming out of my own money, $600 is about my goal. So I made my shopping list. Let's get started. All right. Wallet is for them. The horns. Hey, I'm good. I'll give you an apple. Over the next two months, I take my time finding computer components that fulfill the shopping list. Some parts were found before quarantine and others at the very beginning. I don't recommend going out to buy non-essential goods during quarantine, but if you do, please wear a mask. You're doing everyone a favor. So there's the computer. Okay. I wanted to show you one of these. Venmo you? Does yeah, that work? Cool. Okay. I'll just do that real quick. Appreciate it. All right, well, take care, man. Drive right. safely. Appreciate that. Yeah, of course. Have a good You too. Ooh, baby. Danny is the goat, man. I'm so bad at using my phone camera. Go ahead. Here's what two months of searching got me. An AMD machine for 50 bucks. It's missing the RAM and the storage, but besides that, it's fully functional and the seller used it for graphic design. They didn't know the specs, but it came with an AM3 970 motherboard, an FX CPU, and a Quadro 600. I assumed that if it was good enough for graphic design, it's good enough for entry-level gaming. A T3500 for 12 bucks. A $12 machine that could hold a six core CPU. Seller says that it doesn't turn on, and this could be for a number of issues, but I figured that $12 is worth the risk. It has a GT card and some RAM installed too. Five Lenovo Think Centers for $150. Lenovo, we've had our differences, but I'm willing to put the past aside, let bygones be bygones, just have this harmonious relationship now. It's for the greater good. I did a ton of research before purchasing and felt better equipped this time. The seller's father bought like 150 of them for 600 bucks from a local business, so he made a mad profit even at the low price I got him. They come with an i3 4000 CPU and four gigs of RAM. These require 24 pin ATX adapters, but they're only about three bucks each. I found four power supplies for 20 bucks two of which are Antec Earthwatt 380 watt models for $30 each. The seller let me buy them for 20 because he loved the cause. The other two models are pre-built power supplies, but they supply 262 watts and 288 watts, which is enough for a low power video card. I found two more power supplies for 50 bucks. I snagged a Thermaltake Smart 430 watt power supply and a 700 watt model for 50 bucks total on Letgo. Like the Lenovo Think Centers, the seller received them for free from a friend, so the cheap price made it worth it to him. I wanted to make sure each computer had at least eight gigs of memory. 
I bought 24 gigs of DDR3 from a seller who upgraded to DDR4 and didn't need it. Admittedly, I lost one of the four gig sticks. I know, total clown move. Roast me in the comments, I apologize for that. So I'm gonna use the DDR3 memory I already have to make it work. The stick format won't make eight gigs completely possible for each computer, but it's a good starting point. I found an RX 460 HP model for $20 that the seller thought was an R7 350. Either way, it was a steal for 20 bucks. I also saw a nice looking GTX 950 for 40 bucks on Letgo. The seller upgraded to an RTX 2070 Super, so she literally had no need for the 950 anymore. And lastly, the storage. Cheap, reliable storage was the hardest, but I swear to God, God sent me an angel. This guy was selling 500 gig, 7200 RPM hard drives for 10 bucks each. I asked for seven and he agreed to do 50 for all of them. They were left over from his IT firm and says they were green for health, which was absolutely perfect. So assuming the T3500 works, the total for all of these computers ends up being around $612. It's over budget, but I'm still pretty proud of it. Sadly, all computers aren't created equal. It's just the way things happened here. I tried to divide the specs to the best of my ability to make them as even as possible to reduce bottlenecking. Here's what the final specs should be, but of course, things can change along the way, and you guys will see some crazy stuff kind of happened. <laughs> I built the original seven computers on Twitch during a charity live stream. It took six hours, but we got it done. The Lenovo PCs were repetitive, but easy to upgrade once I finished the first one. They were super dusty too. Each of the ThinkCenter E73s had at least four gigs of RAM and an i3-4130. As a matter of fact, I thought all of the computers had these specs. That is, until I opened them up. Do I have eight gigs of RAM? I do. Whoa, wait. Fellas. This has an i5 CPU in it. <laughs> Some of them had i5 CPUs with eight gigs of RAM already installed, which blew me away. Now the AMD computer was very peculiar, if I could say so myself. It had an awfully generic power supply that I wouldn't trust to power even something like a GT710. I'm being so serious right now. I gutted that and replaced it with the 550 watt XFX model we snagged for 15 bucks for the Lenovo PC. Under the hood was an FX6100 CPU and a heat sink with out a fan. I told you guys, this was kind of peculiar. In a separate stream, I took out the heat sink and fan and replaced it with the A500 air cooler Corsair sent me. Now let me tell you, this cooler is huge, like the size of my head. This is the difference. Ladies and gents, like, this cooler's as big as my head. <laughs> Look at it. It's, it's huge and it's thick. So we're gonna put this onto this. It barely fit in the case, but needless to say, it performs fairly well and gives overclocking headroom. I threw the GTX 650 Ti in there and it was working. The final PC, the $12 T3500 was kind of a letdown. My Discord members, looking at you Blaze, were very excited to see the CPU underneath because these can support powerful Xeons. We were pretty whelmed though, to say the least. Ooh, I don't think that's good. It's, yeah, it's legitimately a dual core CPU. Sadly, my nightmare came true. The T3500 didn't boot and the issue wasn't the power supply, it's probably the motherboard. Ordering a new motherboard for this computer doesn't make sense, so I circled back to find a replacement PC. Do you guys remember that $80 PC that Lenovo kind of didn't want me to build slash upgrade? Yeah, I used that. <laughs> I gutted it, cleaned it, and upgraded it, and turned it into a pretty viable $140 gaming machine to replace the T3500. It has the i7-870, a GTX 770, eight gigs of RAM, and a 700 watt power supply. Now with all of the computers built, I had to figure out a way to get them in the hands of people who needed them the most. Initially, I was going to actually do it through the city of Atlanta, but 
The lag time for that is pretty abysmal. So I chose the next best method that I knew how to use, Reddit. Hey, good morning. Initially, I was going to use hardware swap or build a PC sales, but their giveaway rules just didn't line up with how I wanted to give away these seven computers. Instead, I used r slash Atlanta. I was a little bit scared about posting because I didn't think I was gonna get that many views and I didn't think a lot of people would respond. I was poorly mistaken. <laughs> I don't have my phone on me, but when I checked it this morning at around 7, 15 a.m. when I woke up, I had about 400 upvotes on the original post and like two Reddit golds and my messages, my DMs were flooded with a ton of responses. I think we got almost 100 people who were looking for a computer that couldn't afford one for various reasons. I started organizing and reading the responses and then something amazing happened. I've gotten so many responses of people wanting to donate and help out and that just means so much to me because this is something that I really believe in and it's something that I've been working on for so many months. It's just been, it's been so much effort, so much money and time and to have people willing to donate their hardware to make all of these computers better, it, it just, it really does mean the world. Oh man, I don't know if this is into the video. I don't want you guys to see me cry. I don't know why I'm crying right now. When you've been in the, in the position a lot of these people have been, I guess it just hits you differently and you really don't understand how much a computer, one that you think is old and crummy, like how, how much people can still use that? Like I'm, I'm at a loss for words for the people that want to donate. It just, it means so much. It really does mean so much. Through Reddit's help and your guys' donations through some of my Twitch live streams, I was actually able to pay a sizable chunk of storage upgrades on these computers. I added 120 gigabyte SSDs to all seven computers and in combination with the 500 gig hard drive, it's honestly a really good deal. Like I was, I was super excited and happy about that. The hardest part was definitely choosing the winners. I did prioritize the people who needed the computer out of necessity, whether that was to look for a new job, to finish their work for school, college, whatever it was, over people who just wanted to use it um, as, as a way for enjoyment. Now there's nothing wrong with the latter, but obviously there is a bigger priority with the people who, ha who need it, who, who really need it. And so four months later, the seven computers are built, the seven recipients are chosen. I'm pretty excited and nervous to actually finish this project. Let's go do it. Hey, I was just about to message you and then I saw the red car. I was like, that's probably him. Yeah. Hey, what's, what's your name? It's nice to meet you, Ozzy. Ozzy, nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah, yeah, you too. Oh you my gosh. You're kidding me. Yeah, man, I have this shit custom made. Hey, what's up? I'm good, it's good to meet you. I'll give you a yeah, good spot because of uh, the Rona and everything. Hey, I'm good, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. These are the computers. Oh, Can you wow. remind me which, what the, what the specs were? I know. The i7? Yeah. Okay, That's cool. 150 GT. Okay, cool. So it's on the other side, but this is it like <sighs> Yeah Um, a few there with uh, some other grocery stores All right, well, let's let's get this in your car. I got you. Yeah, I got you ah, Well, let me know if you have any problems with it if you need anything else, I'm just a message away. Right. So, me a message, we'll figure it out. Ah, we'll, yeah, I'll be good, don't worry. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, of course. Hopefully we'll keep in touch. Yeah. So, oh my real gosh. Real talk, man, this is the man right here, man. You're too real. much. All right. Well, if you need anything, let me know. If you have any problems, like, oh, will, don't man. hesitate. Uh, yeah, let me know so if you have any problems. Thank you. See ya. Right there, and there you go. <laughs> All right, we're recording, so I'll just take this. Oh, okay, there you go. All right, see you, man. Come on, take care. So we've given away the computers, but we're not exactly done yet. There's one more computer that I want to give away. 
I'm sure you guys can guess it, but this one is for you, Gerard. I really wanted to thank you for being so selfless. You put a lot of your own personal money into such a gracious endeavor as helping people get their own computers when your computer isn't up to the standards that you want for yourself. I think it's time that someone does the same for you. And so I contacted Micro Center and NZXT and they were super, super, super willing to just help out with the cause. They actually allowed me to go over budget a little bit because I did have a clear vision of the computer that I wanted to build here. All right, let's send it ladies and gents. <laughs> what did you do? So I know that we've talked before and I know that your current system it's an FX 8350 with a GTX 960. It's got a 750 in it right 750. now. 750. I know you had a 1070 that yep. you were wanting to install. It's on the shelf. Yeah. Still brand new in the box. But I was like, if this man barely has time to install a video card, will he ever have time to actually well, build a computer? I figured if I put the video card in, I'd <laughs> never build another PC for me. <laughs> Who helped you with this? <laughs> oh my God, you're a college kid. Who helped you with this? I wish I could take that. That's a 2080. Oh my lord. Guess the CPU. We ain't gonna guess. <laughs> so right now, obviously I, I couldn't afford this, so I didn't do it by Oh, myself. I know you couldn't. That's why I asked. <laughs> Who else helped? <laughs> this man's roasting me right now. Um, so I hit up NZXT and Micro Center and I told them a little bit about what oh, I wanted lord. to do in your story and they were more than willing to help out this and has so, got an aio in it yeah it's water cool holy dude. crap so it's uh evga black rtx 2080 super yeah I it see. has an x570 pro 4 motherboard a ryzen 9 3900x oh no so that's, yeah and so it has the nzxc kraken i think x67 67 i believe oh Lord. obviously the h510 case and 32 gigs of DDR4 memory at like 3,200. How many gigs of memory? 32 gigs. Holy crap. Windows 10 is installed. There's an NVMe M.2 SSD in there. One terabyte right now. A terabyte? Yeah. It's my way of saying thanks for helping out with such a great cause. Um, because of you, I was able to build seven computers. And I'm hopefully going to donate them this week to people. Makes in the you Metro feel Atlanta. so good at night. Here, yeah. I'll give you a hug. I'll give you a oh, hug. Oh, man. Ooh. I'm wearing the same shirt. I actually didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I feel like I just got back from Gerard's place, but I actually recorded that like two and a half weeks ago. Anyway, I just wanted to end this video by saying thank you to all of you, all the people who donated, all the people who supported, even if it wasn't monetary. I appreciate all of you for giving me a platform for me to actually do something like this. Um, appreciate all you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.